So for me, this is a product that should be eaten raw. And you need to open them and cut them into thin slices a la minute. You can't really have them like open in your mise en place because then they will lose what is to me like their most important feature, which is that really beautiful deep sea flavor combined with a almost crunchy texture. These clams have one muscle about here and another muscle about here that in order to open them, you need to cut those. Out. So you just insert the knife just bring the knife like around the edge of the clam like this, and it pops open. So I'm just gonna take it away from the shell. So the next step is to clean the um, meaty part away from uh, all this sort of gills and filtration stuff. And I just try to kind of fold that away from the meaty part like this. And then with a really sharp knife, you just sort of cut like that. And this will keep to make the custard from the um, uh, juice of the mahogany clam, a little bit of cream and some egg yolks. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some malted cabbage, a little bit of uh, pickled rowan berry, some dried rose hips and some dried uh, garlic, and then slices of raw mahogany clam. So, and then we just cut this into like nice slices like that. And you can see it's kind of almost cramping, you know, because it's very recently deceased. <laughs> so the next step is to take this custard, which is barely lukewarm, and we'll start with the um, malted cabbage. And it should be quite a lot. You should kind of cover the custard completely start adding these other ingredients. Almost like a kind of dry salad. So a little bit of the rose hip like that. So perhaps a little clam. A few of these garlicky flakes. Another piece of clam. This is a dish that needs to have like a lot of the seasoning on top of it, you know, because this custard is really mild and it's only really, you know, a texture. And the texture of all these dry things is also quite cool with that almost crunchy, compact texture of the uh, clam uh, and the very creamy uh, texture of the custard. So the last little thing is just add a little herb salt. And it shouldn't be too much because the, the clam itself, it is salty, but it's still important to provide a little bit of um, sharpness and a little bit of that freshness of summer into the dish, which is not complete.